Hello and welcome back to Relax and Play. As usual, I'm Ferocious Jelly and this is the other guy. Commander! No more Claymores, right? Shut up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, last time was pretty young. It was, it was interesting. It was interesting. But that's all behind us now. You know, um, I forgot actually to call Master. I don't know if it'll be able to do it. But if you call Master after the Sniper Wolf fight, he has a pretty good uh, speech with Snake. See, I'm wondering if we transitioned the disc if it changed it. That's what I'm thinking. Well, give him a call right now. Master. Oh, is it? You and I, we're nothing more than dogs, are we? That's not like you, Snake. Don't let Never what seen this. Sniper seen Wolf it. said bother you. Listen, there's not a soldier alive that doesn't question himself. And if there is one, he's nothing more than a murderer. But someone like Wolf, a soldier who's looking for nothing more than their own death, is no good to anyone either. Once she started to look for death, it was all over. That's how you'll end up too, Snake. That was a, that, that, that's probably one of the best things Master actually says to you. Yeah, it's actually, I really like it. It's probably... Oh, I thought it was a point on. It's, um... Oh, I gotta do this every time! We should really do this before we actually record <laughs> yeah. next um, time. But uh, I do like that code of calls. So. We're gonna beat the fucking game before we remember to do that before we start recording. You have Master's Badass Call. You have I'm Gonna String You Up. Just that area is just a minefield for great conversation. <laughs> minefield. Yeah, we did that before. I don't know why this music in here always reminds me of, like, Mario. What? It reminds me of when, um, you're in, like, the cave area with the creepy sea monster thing. Oh, from Mario World? Uh, it's Mario 64. That thing even touches snakey balls. This area is pretty much like the factory from Terminator 2. Well, that's actually a really good analogy for it. It's the Terminator 2 thing. It's pretty much that in a nutshell. I know I've been walking around a lot, but I mean, this area, it just looks different than most of the other areas in the game. You know? And if Snake actually jumps into the lava here, he does a Terminator death. Well, he sticks his hand out. He doesn't do a thumbs up. No, he does a thumb up, but he just couldn't program it. Go in the other room, there's body armor. Oh yeah, we'll need it. Well, I was actually going to get on our way back, but at that point you don't need it. I was going to say, yeah, it's, it's pretty pointless after. It's shift change. Johnny's got to clean the toilets. Oh! Oh god, you can tell the- I was going to say, why are you standing right in the path of the fire? Ow! Oh boy! Yay! Okay, we got what we needed. Run. Is it, what else is in here? Oh, ammo. Maybe chaff grenade. Mm, that's risky. You, you use a scope. It would have told you. Being in here just. It just really burns, doesn't it? <laughs> I was gonna say, it's making me, like, overheat, but... At least they don't fog the screen like in sequels. Yeah. Adding all that condensation and shit, you know. That's actually kind of cool, but... It is. One of my favorite uh, games that did that was, uh, Metroid Prime. Yeah, Metroid Prime's a game. Dude, we should play that? Oh yeah, hell yeah, we're gonna play that one. Well, you know, I like this Kool-Aid vision because it reminds me of the Terminator and Puma Man. It's just cool. Ah, the Puma Man. Let's zoom in on that. 
Because I don't want to walk all the way over there. <laughs> Even so, though the amount of time it would have taken me to bring this up, I probably would have been... It's not trying to do It's a box. Well, you're like, zoom in. It usually does, but... I don't know. Just goes. walk over there! <laughs> God damn it! You what know, are you? It, it would actually be nice if... You're uh, not thinking of the sequels when it tells you what item it is, if you look at it. I know this, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, it would be actually nice if they... Depending on the ammo, they actually change the label. In Just the color of the label. In Twin Six, they do. Yeah. yeah like, think... SOCOM would be red, FAMAS would be, uh... You know, yellow. Say, Sniper would be green. It's probably MGS2 and up that they added the ability to uh, see when you use your scope with the I think I, I think so. There he is. Oh, he ran out to Claymores! It's alright! I wonder if he actually set claymores down where they jump if they would explode when the fight started. Damn. You got him, Snake. Just set claymores down. <laughs> um, twin snakes, they jump in and they start shooting and they make like an X of bullets. And Snake jumps out of the way in midair and then the bullets explode. What? I don't know why bullets would explode, but... Uh, it's kind of cool, though, in a weird way. Uh, don't forget, uh, you can equip the body armor, it'll actually help you here. What advice could these idiots possibly say? Blow away the bad Snake, guy. Blow away all the bad guys, or you're not gonna be able to get out of there and get to the underground base. I'm not gonna blow anyone, Colonel. Ah, there you go, Nastasha. You're like, when is she not available? Here. Yeah, the one time where I wouldn't really call her... <laughs> I mean, this isn't really a boss fight. Yeah, but she's not available, see? Why well, is she on the toilet now? <laughs> Snake, there's nowhere to hide in that elevator. You'll have Last time I fought an elevator, things went horribly wrong. Naturally, in an enclosed room, your motion is limited. But that doesn't mean that you Last time I was constantly moving and it things didn't yeah, go up. <laughs> you can win if you watch how If you wouldn't call me. <laughs> I mean that. Looked like that guy in the corner was having a seizure. But he keeps running! Well, actually, he was standing still, and you were your own enemy there. <laughs> it's like, you dick, you deserve that. Okay, you know what? Fire Nikita. No, you die. Oh, you die. You know, you were telling me that that encounter was a lot more difficult than the other one. You know, you better shut up. Okay. I'm, Where's to live by? You better shut up. I'll be here if you need me. Is that Arms Tech's logo? Why is there two A's? Alcohol Anonymous? That's the Arms Tech logo. like an arrow? No, that's just pointing which direction the elevator moves, usually. No, I think that's the arms that launch this an arrow. I really think it is the arms that go over. <laughs> There's mines in this area. Yeah, over by the elevator. Yeah, on the other side. I actually never used checker. I just ran it. Well, you, know, you can watch. I, I, I just try to save them. You can just run in a straight line and get on there. Where's you know? that camera, though? It was. It's on the um, that indent in the wall right there. You ran past it already. I mean, I thought there was one over here too. Well, we'll find out once you get shot, right? These claim words are inert. You can stand up. Yeah, we'll need it. Shh. Um. On Rex and uh, Liquid, you really will need it. Liquid's already dead. He's gonna string you up! He's obviously not dead! <laughs> the final boss, like, rush in general in this game is really difficult. Even on easy, it's kind of sort of difficult. Yeah, Rex is pretty OP.
Ten years later, the elevator finally descends. If you shoot these birds, don't you actually get they get pissed off at you? Yeah, but we're not sociopaths, so we won't do it. Well, if you take that elevator down, you'll wind up in the warehouse. No. Metal Gear's underground maintenance. Wait, this elevator goes down. <laughs> crows. What? There are a lot of crows here. There were crows around from before, but for some reason they started to really increase in number around the same time that Foxhound came to the base. It's really weird. I wonder what it could mean. Now, mild spoilers. There's a boss up ahead. When you beat this boss, if you call Otacon, or if someone tells you what type of birds there are, mild spoilers, instead of saying crows, they'll say ravens? Oh. So it's kind of clever here, he just says crows, but the line's actually a little different if you have more knowledge of what's ahead. Spoilers! <laughs> we kind of sort of alluded to what's up ahead. There are a lot of crows around here. Those aren't crows. Yeah, oh, he tells Those are northern ravens. And then if you call out on afterwards, they'll say Native ravens. Americans right. worship northern ravens as creator deities. Some say that ravens have the power to predict death. The great poet Marlowe wrote about them in the 16th century. Thus, like the sad presaging raven that tolls the sick man's passport in her hollow beak, and in the shadow of the silent night doth shake contagion sable wings that's pretty gloomy master by the oh, way he just censored himself <laughs> did you hear that beeping i've got something to tell you about naomi hunter what, what about oh this her? is is this conversation secure i didn't think the it was gonna lead into this yeah because this conversation okay. appears but he doesn't mention the ravens if you don't call the FBI he mentions it after you defeat the boss no that. he tells him you're going down What's your oh. point Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied. She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. What? Naomi is... bad. Colonel, where's Naomi? I'm right here, Snake. What is it? Oh, uh, nothing. Forget it. Strange. Snake, by now those terrorists have fit. So now we just walk in circles and wait for the elevator to descend. Yeah, I mean, too bad the crows didn't actually attack you. This is actually one of my favorite boss fights. What? Well, you just spoiled there's a boss ahead! For all I knew there was a Except on the elevator, spoilers <laughs> a boss ahead. For all I knew there was a snowman up ahead! And actually, one of the best conversations ever, too. <laughs> the 
my god. Oh, they removed that in Twin Snakes, by the way. Which is horrible. They actually talk about another event, not the Mokta. Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Shh. Am I hallucinating? <laughs> I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah. Your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics. Yeah, I know it. it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes. <laughs> but there is another. <laughs> but that's besides the point. It is called the ear pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious, it's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. I like how you start out facing each other and then you just teleport into. Oh. Soviet Special Forces. In 1993, he was demoted by President Yeltsin following his coup d'etat, so he fled the country and became a mercenary. After that, he joined those rental war bastards in Outer Heaven, Inc. He stayed there until he So, Raven was a member of Outer Heaven? Next was he? Really? Yeah, that's what she just said. I don't want to know. The he's holding is a 20 millimeter Vulcan gun. You usually see them mounted on fighter planes. You can't take him on in a firefight. He'll make mincemeat of you. So what was he doing when Snake infiltrated Outer Heaven? Snake. He was sleeping. He was eating Muktuk. <laughs> there you go. Squeezing into tanks and eating Muktuk. You better not try to attack him. Help! I got stuck. <laughs> we got an intruder in Outer Heaven. They're trying to like grease Raven out of the tank. You are right. I bet. Under construction because their main priority was to finish Metal Gear's underground base. But the good thing is, with all those containers, it should be easy to hide, right? It looks like Raven is holding an M61A1 20 millimeter multi turreted machine gun. They are usually mounted on F 16s. With its six rotating turrets, it can fight a 4,020 millimeter. So if it actually hit Snake, he'd be dead. He'd be like, Oh, yeah. If you come at him from the front, he'll turn you into forced. But you know, this game has super powered bosses and shit. Like, uh, well, it kind of mixes it. Because, I mean, was that crow a hallucination? Even Snake said it. Or did a crow really fly out of his head and somehow make Snake immobile? I'm going with the ladder. I'm going with. There's no ladder. Rather than the former ladder. <laughs> the 
That place is right in the middle of the permafrost. Just like the name says, it never melts. I've heard over 85% of Alaska is permafrost. It's extremely cold there, Snake. If you don't hurry, your sea rations will freeze. Sea rations? It's the name of the ration. Because in Metal Gear 2, you had three different... But they were just one, two, three. They weren't A, B, C. And remember, Metal Gear 2, the rations can actually freeze. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's actually not bad advice. But still, he called, it's funny that he calls it sea rations, but it's just rations. Combat rations. Oh, here we go. Probably Athapasca. They're originally from the same tribe as the Apaches and Navajos of New Mexico. Anthropologically, they're related to the Japanese. There are even linguistic similarities between Athapaskan languages and ancient Japanese. You and he probably share many of the same ancestors. Master, I don't remember telling you that I was part Japanese. What? Well! So, uh, he just knew that we were Japanese for no reason. Let's go with it! Um, the only way... Well, you could fire Nikita. I don't know why you want to, but... That's actually how I usually fight him. At the beginning, at least. Because um, eventually he starts getting too fast. Ow! Okay, he, he, he'd be dead. He'd be dead right now. I use stingers on him. You really need to save those for rats. You know? Don't you find plenty of them, though, later on? Mm, let's try it. One of my favorite, one of my favorite things to do is actually, um, you can use landmines. And, oh yeah, you can. And C4. But I don't want to risk using C4 anymore or claymores, because when I use claymores in that elevator, bad things happen. It scarred me permanently. This is gonna be a long fight. Oh! Why are you sitting there? You dick! You are an ass hat. A hat of ass. Yeah, that was kind of a good idea to pick it up, because you probably would have forgot it was there. I didn't pick up the other one. Can you actually hurt it with normal bullets? And I think it does, like, very minuscule damage. You want me to try it? No. I was just wondering if you could. I mean, I don't know how. Is it skin, like, tougher than leather? That works. I oh. usually would use stingers, but um, I'm doing so hotly. Ah! Uh oh. Oh! 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 Oh my God! Run! Yeah. I want to think about rations. Come on out! You dick, my son of a bitch! You know what? Fuck it, we're gonna use the stinger. I don't have time to waste on this ass. Wait, there's a here. <laughs> Just crawl and go over. I wanna see where this How did he walk past it? Because you have it facing the direction you're mm. going. I just know I would have ran into it. Yeah, you probably would have. I just know it. Oh shit. <laughs> Why'd you keep the thermals equipped? I don't know, I like it. That's what killed me in the elevator. Thermals are badass, dude. They don't look like this in any other game. Wow, I need nice. to lock on. Oh 
Oh, he's getting faster. This is actually the part where I start using, uh... Gotta fire it. I know, but I was pretty turned around. <laughs> and you still miss. Watch your health, yeah. You gotta be careful, because your rash is will freeze here. Oh, no! You ran into him! Tricky, tricky. Yeah, he's getting really fast. He's... he's whoa! It, it would have been really bad if you had didn't have your rations... If your rations were frozen. You know? Come on out! You're not really making much headway, man. I think it might be time to say try a different strategy. I'm not locking on properly! That's really the, the problem. You were actually the one that told me to actually use it in here. I know, it's actually perfect. But the problem is you have to know where you place it right now. I'm not really keeping track of it. No, you just place it somewhere and wait for him to run it. You, I, I always place three down because I always have plenty here. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. You know what? Let's try the C4 strategy. I always tell you to use So, wh why'd you run out in front of him? Place one down on you? Yeah, it detonated it. Oh, well, that one's useful. Actually, it is. You just blew it up. You placed the C4 there, remember? I know. Okay, that was dumb. some trouble with him, man. <laughs> really am. Yeah! See, that's why I only placed one No, no, one no, down. you blew up the first one. That's why I only placed one down. I thought it blew it up. That's why I just pressed the button rapidly. Good thing about him destroying the arena, though, is that he obviously has less places to turn, making it easier for you to anticipate where he's going to be. Yep. And it makes it a little bit tougher, more of a challenge for you too. You know. It kind of does, but I don't know. I usually finish him off way before the arena's like this. Well, you were using your method, and it wasn't working too well. No offense. You know why it wasn't working too well? I was using you the. Hitting him? No, I wasn't using the D-pad though. Okay, just make it cute. You're a fucking dick! You missed. He's gonna be running- he's gonna run straight past that path. Yay!
There you go. Not my best run. I want to quit now. Oh, come on. You don't even feel like poop. I didn't make you feel like nothing. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you! Understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it? It was not the Dharma Chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the Chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There's always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. Snake, it's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? <sighs> Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. 
place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you.